Gallery, and I played the violin of the eighth grade orchestra. Welcome to the June 2022 concert. We've just had a few short months to prepare our brief concert program, but we think you'll enjoy it. We have a few housekeeping requests. Please set your smartphones and watches to airplane so the screens won't light up and create a distraction to people around you or interrupt your enjoyment of our program tonight. Also, refrain from coming up to the stage during the performance to film or photograph your own child as it can be distracting to both the performers and the audience. We would be happy to pose for the paparazzi after the concert. Hello, my name is Lily Rudusky and I play violin in the 8th grade orchestra. Composer Larry Clark says that as he was writing this piece that it seemed like he was telling the story of some sort. With the music developing into a fairy tale music for a movie about cartoon-like creatures, Babel using a, uses a bowing technique called spiccato, which is the bow bouncing lightly off the string to create a lively rhythmic texture under the lyrical melody. But not intended to be a programming piece of music, let your imagination wander to enchantment as you listen to the seventh and eighth graders perform Babel. I'd like to apologize for the um, interior of your program. When I sent it to the photocopier, I sent my um, March uh, interior program. So it's going to be a surprise for you this evening as we go through the concert program. But if anyone would like an official copy of what we actually played tonight to go along with your students' names in the program, I'd be happy to email you the document or send home a paper copy. So just send me an email um, or have your student request one, and we'll get you an accurate program if you'd like.
orchestra. Nothing brings string playing to life quite like the dramatic sounds of traditional Hungarian dances. With that as inspiration, composer Soon He Nugol created a work infused with that passion. Strolling violinists are still popular at restaurants and events today, supposedly originating from the Gypsy Fiddler. Whether it's fictional myth or actual history, these nomadic peoples from all parts of Europe have fascinated us with their music, stories, and culture. The Hungarian gypsies, also called Romani people, have had the largest impact on what we now think of as traditional gypsy music and dance, but there's also Spanish, Indian, Russian, and Jewish influences. We are also aware of the importance of recognizing that some stereotypes can be harmful, and we would like to mention that in some situations, the word gypsy has been used in negative connotations, and we are here striving to explore traditional music with modern understanding, compassion, appreciation, and respect.
Hello, my name is Carter and I play violin in the 8th grade orchestra. The 6th graders will now play the familiar French folk tune, Frère Jaca. First, they will play in unison all together, and then they will split into two groups and play a round, in which the parts will overlap. and I play viola in the 8th grade orchestra. There's a dragon on the loose. You can hear it in the cello sections and the violins and violas are giving chase. The medieval sounding excitement is all created using notes from the D major scale. Dragon Hunter is the unofficial theme song of the Nichols Middle School Orchestra. It has been a staple in our repertoire for years. Mrs. Thornton has tried to retire it one year, but realized that beyond simple enjoyment of playing in peace, the many skills are learned through, through playing this engaging, adventurous piece. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
for joining us tonight. Thank you for those of you who are having a triple header tonight with uh, the band, the orchestra, and the chorus all on the same night. Um, if we had a bigger auditorium, we could do it as one one big gigantic concert, but we don't have enough room for all the audience that way. Um, we're so glad that you're here, and um, we just want to talk a little schedule before we do our last two pieces. If I stand under the speaker, I get feedback, so I'll move over. Um, they will have orchestra as scheduled for the rest of this week and the rest of next week. The following week, we will still meet for class, because it's a scheduled class, but the very last week of school, those last four days, they should not bring their instruments, because we don't want to have any of them forgotten over the summer. So all of this week, all of next week, please bring instruments as usual, and after that, they can stay at home. If anything needs a repair over the summer, um, they can bring it in next week. French music comes on Tuesdays. If it's a French music rental, um, it's included in your, uh, repairs are included in your rental, or if they need an upsize, now would be a great time to get a hold of that so we can put tapes on it and they can practice over the summer. If it's not a French music rental and they want to repair French, we'll take it and do an um, estimate and send it back to you um, as needed. Um, All right, I think that's enough. Hello again. My name is Hannah Bradley, and I play the violin in the eighth grade orchestra. First, we will play Boiled and Cabbage Down, a traditional fiddle tune that likes to go fast and get your feet tapping. Then we will really pick things up with Fiddler's Hoedown, an arrangement composed with Boiled and Cabbage Down in mind. This fun piece only uses the D major scale, quarter notes, and quarter rests, and will have you stomping from start to finish. I also just like to say an extra special, well thank you to all of you parents of course for having them all here, but you eighth grade parents for helping these eighth grade students persevere through um, the adventures of the last couple of years, staying with their instrument, getting used to remote days, in-person days, um, which day do I bring my instrument, all the back and forth and all those challenges we've had. Thank you so much for encouraging them and supporting them through that. These eighth graders I will miss very, very much as they head off to high school because they're absolutely a delightful group to work with, and I love starting my day with them. And many of them come on all three of the orchestra days to help out um, and just to do more playing, and that's been that's just such a joy this year that I've been looking forward to in this unusual year. To have the consistency of these wonderful kids to work with has been such a treat. So thank you very much for their children and sharing them with me.